We are here for a second day of uh, joint training with uh, Hernando County, Citrus County, and Sumter County. Uh, and today we're with uh, Division Chief John Davis who will explain uh, the exercise uh, that participants will be conducting today. Yeah, so today we're going to be doing a rope rescue evolution. Um, the objectives, kind of the mission we have today is uh, we have a victim here on the ground. Um, we'll have a high point up at the top of the canyon wall. Um, the objective will be that we don't have access to this lower point. We will have to get our access by coming off of the high point, reeving down from a high line to attach the victim and do a pickoff lifting the rescuer back up and then traversing back down to the ground. Um, to do this we'll need a lot of personnel and nearly a thousand feet of rope. And then what types of benefits do uh, firefighters get with this type of training? Yeah this is what we consider advanced level training. Um, we have to have a lot of additional hours to do this. Um, this isn't just something you do one time and consider you can do this. This is why we have to do repetitive training at this. Um, there's so many technical skills involved here and teamwork and good communication um, and obviously safety is a major factor in this so um, we have eyes on all those things they'll be specially appointed uh, personnel within each of those divisions to make sure they're getting done safely and effectively and then uh, they even use drones to help scope out the area to to get a lay of the land and yes what they're up against. yeah yeah drones provide a great benefit um, you know if this was reality we wouldn't have this access on the ground and to be able to get a visual of the victim and get a visual to the layout and the terrain and how we are going to make our access and, and what kind of systems and, and anchor points we're going to set up, the drone goes ahead and provides us that additional recon. Um, that way we don't have to walk in, traverse this, and then walk back out. It saves us all that time and effort. The rescue crews are actually going to have to come in and uh, construct their own uh, high lines, track lines, um, so to speak, to traverse down. So those are strictly for equipment and then we would be making our own rescue uh, systems to make this rescue. All right. So we are on the scene for another day of training uh, with the Hernando, Citrus, and Sumter County Fire Departments. <laughs>